Hey guys, it's Matt and Sarah with the Infinite Explorers and we've got some super awesome news to tell you guys today. We have a new camper. So this is our 2022 Arctic Fox 1150 and we did a custom wrap on it. And we want to give you guys a little tour and show you what it's like, all the features that it's got. And maybe it'll be something that you'll like too. So we're going to start over on this side first, go around and do all of the exterior and then we'll go into the inside of the camper next. So we're just going to start right over here. This is just your potable water area. So all you have to do is open that up, put your hose in, that'll fill up your fresh water tank. And then down here we've got a six gallon hot water heater. So this unit we haven't got to try out yet since we actually just winterized everything so the camper is completely empty right now but when we head to the southwest soon that's going to be all ready to go. So this part here just flips up and locks down. And then next right here we've got the auxiliary shower so this is the outside shower. It does come with a shower hose, so it's not attached like some campers have. So that way you can either get a different shower head if you'd like. It's pretty much like a garden hose shower head. And then in here we've got our two batteries. So you can upgrade. Um, it does have a magnet up here on the top to keep the door open, so that is a big plus too. All you have to do with the slide out tray is flip this over and you can pull the whole thing out and get access to both batteries push it back in and then it'll lock back in place. And then we do have satellite ready available on the outside. We probably won't be using that since we did not order a TV with ours, but that's something nice. And then right here is your plug-in for power. And then over here we've got access to all the plumbing. So in case you ever need to get in there and do anything, um, that's a nice convenient spot for it. And by the way, when you look at this, look how insulated this is. So that's one of the biggest features why we went with an Arctic Fox is because this thing is four season all ready to go. We'll go to the back over here. We've got two propane tanks, the big guys. So that works out pretty nice. We haven't done a test yet to see how long we can go on both tanks. But what's nice with this one is there's a valve up here that you can turn and you can control which protein, propane tank you want to run off of or if you want to run both at the same time. Right now it's aimed over to the right side. So with it being on the right, it's going to go through this tank first. And once this changes from green to red, it'll switch over and go to this tank next. So then you know it's time to get this one filled. And down here, we'll start getting into the storage area. So this is very deep. I mean, if you can see my whole arm can go to the back of that. This is the shower hose that they have for the outdoor shower. So that's what they just threw in there for now. We haven't put anything else in here yet, but I'm sure we'll find good use for the storage. And then over here, you've got access to your tanks. So for dumping them, you can use these right here. And then to lower or lift your jacks, there's a button right over here. You'll just hit that. We left the remote in here for now. Um, we'll find another place for that eventually. And then to drain all of your lines, there's all access right in here. And so those lines actually run down below the camper right here and just drain out. These can be shortened up. That's something we're debating on, but for now it works for us. And then this is just where you can connect your sewer holes. Then we'll go over to the back side. So we'll show you the sewer hose access spot. So will give you a separate key just for this. So this door opens here and they've got a tray with the sewer hose. So that goes all the way across the back of the bumper. So it's a nice convenient area. And then back over here we've got outlets. And then there's a big awning that goes across the top of it. And there are two outdoor speakers on the back as well as a porch light on the top. And then one feature we were debating on adding was the Fox Landing. And from everybody that we've talked to, the Fox Landing is awesome, but it's a $1,000 upgrade. And we thought, all right, $1,000 for stairs, 
but for us it has been so worth it. We did a test trial one week with this camper and it works super slick. Um, if you just pull up on this right here, this part goes down and then the step just flips down and that's all you've got to do. So that way some people use the scissor stairs, but at least here you actually have a landing to come out onto and then you can go down. There's also a handle right here that goes across the door or you can use it to grab on. Some people don't order the handle and just use the ladder itself. But one thing to note with the ladder is it does fold up. So right now it's just connected down in here. You don't have to do anything other than pull. So if you pull it on it, it folds up just like that. And there's a clip over here that this clip just comes down. It's a little tight right now. There we go. And that's all it does to lock the ladder in place. For now, we're probably gonna keep it down, but we'll show you guys more of the back of it. So we did not order a generator with this. If we got to unlock that one, let me unlock that quick. So with this compartment, we actually plan on using it for storage. Um, we've got some water bottles and things like that, and then we might end up getting a generator down the road. But it's a pretty big storage. You can order the Cummings generator that we've heard good things about it. Apparently they made it a lot quieter on the new ones, but we're gonna try it out because this unit actually has solar panels on it and we don't really plug in a whole lot since we've got a jackery unit to charge all of our gear. So that's that one. And then next, there's a Joey sliding tray, they call it. So this step here is also optional. If you decide to order it, you can just go up here and go in. Otherwise, it's just the porch. We ended up getting a bolt to go through the back over here. So we'll just loosen that up quick. And then there's two pins on each side. So on these, you just pull them out. That'll unlock it. Give it a little tug. And then the step is removable. So some people have modified this where they can actually just have it swing out. Um, for now, we probably don't plan to use it a whole lot. We're just gonna leave it like this. And then the sliding tray is pretty dang impressive because it's huge. <laughs> so let me open that up. So if you look at it from this angle here, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but there's a handle here that pulls the whole thing out. So this thing is probably close to six feet long. We plan to throw lawn chairs in there. Um, some people do fishing poles or just a wide variety of things that they might not need access to as much, but that'll be a nice feature to have. And it does lock in. And then I'm going to hand it over to Sarah next and we'll show you guys a few more features and then head on inside. All right, so now we're on the slide outside. So we got tons of storage over here. So this is the first storage area. So this goes all the way into the inside of the camper. And this is attached on the slide out. And then moving down, this is a big area that we're going to put probably so this tools is and everything easily in. Easily arms deep again like the other side. Yep. And then moving over here, we have another big area for storage. That's at least an arm's length um, deep also. And then right here, these are the two vents for the fridge. And then we have dually brackets right here that we had attached. So for these, all you do is push this button up and they snap right into place. So when we're driving, they'll go towards the front, but since the camper's going to go back and get dropped off, they're going to stay out to the side for now since that's how it'll be dropped for the dually. Yep. Alright, so next we're going to open the awning and the slide out using this. So this is for the jacks. This is the controller to lift and lower. In order to get this to switch over, you're going to hold down this button. So it's going to be green and you're going to hold it down until it turns red. 
So once it's red, you can open. So this side is for the awning and this side's for the slide out. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to open in the awning. So we're holding down this button. So we'll open it part way to show you guys, but it does go out quite a ways. And then you just hit the down button. And that'll put it back in. So this one's pretty slick, it just rolls right up. And then it'll lock right back into place, like that. And then we'll open the slide out next. So on the left side here, And with this one, we did get an awning for the slide out, so that'll keep all the debris out of it. And that's it. And so one question a lot of people have asked is, is this normal? And this is normal. We contacted Northwoods just to make sure that it looks like it only opens part of the way, but that's how it's designed. And this is super durable here, so it's actually pretty weather tight because slide outs are one of the main areas where you can get a lot of cold air in there. So on the roof, we did add solar panels. So we just ordered one 170 watt solar panel, which you'll see here. And there's also a 45 watt panel that comes with it just to keep the batteries from running completely low. And then you'll see the air conditioning unit. You'll see the Wi-Fi and satellite antenna on the top as well. And then as we go around the outside of it, you'll see our custom wrap. So we designed this, we decided to pick a few of our own photos that we've taken across pretty much the whole western half and part of the eastern half of the United States. And so you'll see a variety of pictures as well as our Infinite Explorers logo. So that way you can see us when we're on the road. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys the inside of the camper. So we'll show you the first cool feature. So right here we have the screen there, which is nice in the summertime when you want some fresh air and want to keep the bugs out. There's also a window right here. So that works pretty well for when you're driving. You can actually look out your rear view mirror and see part way out the back window. Otherwise we have a cover on it just so it's not too bright. So on this side, you have two cup holders right here. So if you want to put beverages or anything when you're sitting on the booth. Down here is the storage. So this goes, when we showed you the outside of the camper, this is one of the areas that go all the way back. And then there's also storage down here, which you could put fishing poles or anything like that. And then there is a storage spot and then the heater is actually built into this side of it. So there is some storage here, but the heating unit is actually going through here to the back. And you will see multiple vents, such as this one, and that one, that one. And there's a suction vent that actually puts heat into the basement over here. So then you got a cab over light right here. I shouldn't call it a cab over light, but a booth over light. So you can have one light on, or you can have both lights on. So we'll just leave it on both right now. So the booth is really cool because you can actually make it into a bed. So if you have company or anyone, and you can actually lay down. I mean, it can fit someone that's six foot tall. Um, so to do that, we're gonna take these out. And then on the bottom here, this does lock, so that's locked, that's unlocked, and then you just push this down. So lower down, and then you get those in the middle, and then the side ones just, and there you have it. So, I mean, I'm five, seven and a half, plenty of room. <laughs> so that's that. Moving on, we have the fridge. So we got a nice 
freezer area here. And the fridge is off right now, otherwise you'd see all the lights inside of it. And that's the fridge part. So to turn it on and off, there's that button there. And then this is the temperature if you want it hotter or colder, or then, warmer or colder. And the mode will switch it over from electric to propane. And then we have a nice area here for storage. You could also hang clothes because there are hooks up here. And we are going to be doing a lot of modifications in this to show you guys how we're going to transform it into a way to live out of it. So we'll probably show you guys a separate video on that soon. And then these are both drawers. Well, one drawer, I guess, and then storage that goes all the way to the outside. Over here you have a nice rack for, I don't know, whatever you'd want to put in there. <laughs> and then... There's a window down here so you can look back into the truck. Yep, and then that's the... the I guess tech, compartment yeah. for winterizing. There's extra storage up here. This is all your piping access. Yep. And then a CDO detector is right there. CO2 detector? C yeah. <laughs> said that wrong in the last video too. Alright, and then Matt will show you um, all the space on top of the bed. Alright, so... What's nice with this is there's still a lot of headroom. So one thing to notice actually looking back that way is they call this a cathedral ceiling. So you can see how it's arched up over the top to make it look extra big in here. Um, the, the ceiling is carpet as well. I think that's more for insulation. And then over here is the carbon monoxide alarm. And then this here opens all the way up. So there's a screen that goes all the way across this area. So right now we just got it clipped in. This is to give you an idea of what it looks like. Clip that back in place. And then this is a super big amount of storage up here. So this goes down all the way through to the very front of the camper. There's also an extra side table here. So that is actually attached down here by my feet. And it goes across this part all the way over here. So if you want extra counter space, that's the way to do it. And then coming up into this area, this is a huge upgrade compared to our last camper because this could never stay up. <laughs> so it's nice that they included hinges on this one. A lot of storage down here that also goes through to the front of it. There's our mirrors on this door here. And then more hanging spots up there for shirts. And then there is also a small storage space up here. And then going up towards the front, there are lights up here that if you hit the cab over light on the control panel, which we'll get to showing the rest of everything on there in a minute, that controls all the lights for up here. And so with that, all you have to do is just hit a little button and then I'll shut these off. Then you have two USB ports, two outlets, and then storage up here too. So that goes all across the top. Going over to this side, it's the exact same thing in here. A mirror and storage. And then this is the emergency exit window on this side of the bed. So this part here just opens up and goes out like that. A lot more storage in there once again. And then since we did not get a TV, it's got wiring and everything for it. This is where you'd put it. Otherwise, you've got charging controls here and outlet over here. We're not sure what we're going to do with this area yet, but I guess you can call it counter space. And then this just opens up for more storage down there. So now as we go down here... Well, we got the fan also. Oh, yeah, can't forget <laughs> the fan. So this can, is a nice cover that comes with the Arctic Fox. It covers the top so at least you don't have light coming in on your face at 6 in the morning. So the fan just opens up. You can set it to multiple settings and it can either suck air out or pull air in. So that's a nice feature to have as well. And you also got two speakers up here as well. So down here we've got a step that if you need an extra hand getting up there you can step on that area. 
And then over here we've got all the controls. This is your porch light, your water pump, gas water heater, or if you want to run the water heater through electric. And then this down here shows you the hours on your generator. Since we don't have a generator, obviously it won't have any hours. This is also where you'd start and stop it. And then over here you can control everything from your fan to the hot air to the cold air with your AC unit all by hitting this button here. And you can just con set the controls right there for what you want the temperature to be at. Right now it shows at 64 degrees in here. And then this unit here is just the radio. So you can either put your Bluetooth on, MP3 player, or just run the radio through it. And then we do have 215 watts of solar on the roof. So this is showing here, it's flashing right now saying it's full battery. And right now it's pulling at 12.8 volts. And then we've got a light here that just goes on and off. There's two settings. There's a low setting and a high setting, depending on what you choose at night. And then we've got a lot more storage once again. So there's a shelf that goes through these two doors and this side is just one tall storage area. And up right above me, we've got the skylight. So this is a really nice feature to have as well because it brings a lot of light in here whether or not you use the lights at all. Right now we wouldn't even need the lights on in here because the sun's out. And then we've got- And this shade does open up also, so. Yep. And over here we've got the microwave. And then there's a fan down here that you can turn on with a light. So there's the fan and the light. And then one feature a lot of people don't know is you can put knives down in here. We're probably not going to do that since we go on some rough roads once in a while, but you can do that. And then this part down here folds up for the stove. You fold it in half and then back like that. And then we'll see if the propane starts since we just turned it on. So I'm not sure if the lines are all cleared out, but to start it, all you have to do is turn it. And you can already see the sparks quickering there you go so this the lights will go on showing that if they're on or off another cool feature for nighttime is they all light up <laughs> so that's optional if everybody wants lights on otherwise if you want it off that's just fine too we've got the oven down here and this also ignites with this so that works pretty well. You can control the oven over here, set it to whatever temperature you want to be at. Some campers you need to manually take a lighter and put it in the back to ignite it. This one you just turn it, it sparks it, and that's it. Then we got two drawers right here. So we already have some stuff in there. And this one. And then you got a little cubby down there. And then this drawer opens up to your sinks area and then storage spot right here as well. We're probably going to end up putting our garbage can down there that way it'll be out of the way most of the time. Yep. And then over here we have a nice big sink. So this is what you could use for a cutting board as well. And here's the sink and then this does come out as a sprayer also which is really nice. And there's a nice big window right here as well. And then going over here, this is a love and hate relationship with this. So some people like this and some people don't. And I gotta remember, there it is. So this whole thing slides out. So you can put canned goods on it, anything like that. Some people have modified this to make it a little bit wider. So you can fit more things on it or adding more shelves on it since cans obviously aren't that tall. But that just goes right back in. And it locks right back into place. And down here are just smaller shelving units. And then there's piping that goes down here. And then right above us we've got the AC unit as well as a speaker there and a speaker over there. And then going back here to the bathroom, one thing we missed at the beginning, down here is where you're going to control your entry light. So if you are coming in here at night, all you have to do is turn this on. 
And when I turn it on right above us, the light's going to turn on right there. So that way it's not pitch black when you're going in. And if you want to open the slide out from inside, it's right there. And you also have two outlets there. So this bathroom door is a lot nicer compared to our last one. So this is like a heavy duty lock. So all you do is pull that up and it opens up. So this is a nice walk-in bathroom. So no wet bath for us anymore. Nope. <laughs> so this is an actual porcelain toilet that we have. And then we have storage here. Lots of storage right here. Toilet roll holder. A towel rack right here. And then this is actually a frosted window too, so no one can see it when you're in here. And then this just opens up to more of the piping. And here's a vent also with a fan. And then you got a light right there. The mirror, which does open up. Never mind, that doesn't open up. I think it does, does but it I'm, not sure, up? I'm not sure which side. We might have to play with that and see. Okay, well, that <laughs> we think opens up. <laughs> and then the sink. And then here's the shower. So it has a nice skylight in there. There's your door. And that just opens and closes. And... and then one modification too to make a note of if you do get an Arctic box is if you come down here, there is a little gap between this. You might want to take a bead of silicone to fill it in because some people have said that they do have water coming out onto the floor sometimes. So that's one little mod that we're going to end up doing to it. But if you just build in from the inside, that'll keep your floor nice and dry. Yep. And we also really love the flooring too. It's super modern looking. So I'll just show you guys again a wide view from here. So this thing is pretty dang big. It's on our 2020 Ram 3500 Dually. Um, we have not done a payload test since we're going to see what it ends up weighing once we get it fully loaded but it's got some pretty big tanks. I think the fresh water tanks around 60 gallons and the black and gray are right around 40 to 45. And then we also have our fire extinguisher right here and there is awning and porch light up there as well. Well if you guys decide to add internet on you can do it over there. Some people decide to buy a wi-fi piece but we're not going to end up doing that because we're actually looking at getting a wee boost antenna for this for our hot spots and other than that i think that takes care of everything <laughs> there's a ton of features on this but we'll be sure to show you guys a little video once we get all the modifications done on it in the next month and yeah so have any questions just leave comments below and thank you guys for watching